Hello everyone and welcome to New Orleans. This is my first time here, it is a brand new destination for me and it is a destination that I've been bidding for for quite a while, quite a few months of the year I have been trying to get here and I am finally here and I'm very excited to go out and explore. So I would absolutely love to do like a full on proper travel vlog here of everything to like see and do but this is only a three day trip which means I only get about 24 hours in total down room. I don't have a clear day. I'm leaving the hotel to fly home at about 8 p.m. tonight so I can't really do the whole full day out seeing and doing everything possible kind of thing that I want to do. So what I thought I would do is just bring you guys with me and just show you a little bit of a cabin crew layover here in New Orleans. There is some lovely crew on this trip with me so I'm gonna head out now and meet up with one of those. Okay, so we have made it to the French Quarter, we have made it to Jackson Square, we have a St. Louis Cathedral just behind me, and this is where I'm going to be meeting the other crew member, and then yeah, we're just going to start our day, get some food, and do a little bit of exploring. So usually down route, I bring my own breakfast, save money, save calories, nice and easy, all that good stuff, but I'm in New Orleans, so of course I had to come to Café du Monde and try beignets. Okay, here they are, they come in orders of three. Literally look at these, they look so amazing. So Café du Monde is definitely a vibe. Sitting out, they've got little fans going so you get a little bit of a breeze, listen to the jazz music and enjoy the delicious beignets. They were so good and yes I know I am saying them wrong, I think it's meant to be pronounced like banya but that doesn't really work with how I speak so sorry. Um, and now we are just wandering around more of the French Quarter and taking in some more of the sights. So we just all passed this shop and had to stop and do a double take because look at these Christmas ornaments. These are actually amazing. I feel like this has to be done. Going into the food store. Okay, these are really cute. We've got some foo beanies, like a bean baby version of a voodoo doll. And they've been made and blessed here. They're all for different purposes. So this one is some good health. It tells you how to use it to send it, or sort of reject it from the person you desire. There's a whole little thing here. And it says, you know, be careful because what goes around comes around. <laughs> kind of love it. Okay, we are not eating here, but I'm gonna point this out in case anyone ever wants to eat here. It's called Fat Boys Pizza. Slogan is size matters. Look at the size of these pizzas. Like it doesn't come off on camera, but you know, like there's my foot. They are enormous. And apparently it's also home to the strongest daiquiri in the quarter, so win-win. Hmm, Okay, excuse the fact that I look a little bit frazzled. Um, I am back at the hotel now, it's a little while later. We decided to come back because the heat, humidity, exhaustion and hunger kind of all started adding up and we just needed to call it a day for sightseeing and have a little bit of chill time before, you know, we have to work the flight home tonight. But before we came back to the hotel, we went to a place called Mother's. This place is like really highly recommended. I think even Anthony Bourdain recommended it. So I went and got myself some delicious food. So for the first time ever, I'm going to be having a po' boy, which I think is essentially just like a big sandwich here. Um, I don't know exactly what I ordered. I ordered the small beef. They gave me this. And then they also gave me a tub of beef in like sauce. So I, I, I don't actually know if I'm meant to like dip it or put one in the other or I don't know what I'm meant to do but it looks delicious it smells delicious so I'm very very excited for it um, I'm not going to eat it on camera but let me just show you guys so this is what it looks like just a nice crisp juicy actually not that juicy so maybe I do need to put that stuff inside but it looks delicious it smells delicious I'm very very excited to eat it and actually now that I'm back in my room I've just had a shower set up Netflix and it is raining so hard like it's full-on storming outside the window so I think my timing was amazing 
but the only downside to being in my room is that my my neighbors are very loud we have an adjoining door which normally is crew you're not meant to have it has to be another crew member but i just didn't want to kick off about it last night i just couldn't be bothered um they're very loud and they're obviously a couple because they were doing very loud couple activities this morning and earlier they weren't in so it was nice and quiet but now that it's raining they are back in so i'm hoping that they stay quiet enough for me to nap and i'm gonna go and eat my liner i guess and catch up with you guys later The sun is just about setting now and I am finishing getting ready, getting myself packed up, ready to work the flight home. I wish this was a longer trip. I would absolutely love for this to be a four day or a five day trip and for me to be getting ready to go out and hit the town and have a few drinks tonight. Sadly, that's not what I'm doing. I did actually go out with the crew last night. We went to Bourbon Street and we did have one or two drinks out last night so I have taken full advantage of the time that I have but it is still a little bit sad that that isn't something I can do tonight. I think this vlog has been very short and sweet. I don't think I've shown you guys much at all um, but I am kind of using it like I say almost every vlog more as a video diary than anything else. Um, the reason that I haven't vlogged my crew trips in so long and why I did such a bad job today is because I've had such lovely crews recently and I've actually been socializing and sort of like making like loose friends and just really enjoying being around other people on my trip so I haven't felt the need to get my camera out to force myself to find other ways to keep busy or to go sightseeing by myself I've had people around me and I've been chatting and socializing and it's been really really lovely so future Rebecca if you are watching this in god knows how many years and you're wondering why there are so few videos from spring summer 2022 it's because you were living your best life down route and socializing like Matt. Anyway, for the rest of you, thank you so much for joining me in this short and sweet little video. I'm going to get ready and fly back to London now. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more and hopefully I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. I totally forgot to mention I picked up a box of beignet mix. So another message to future me. I really hope that you made these.